Imagine this, one F-35 stealth fighter lifts off an American carrier deck. But this isn't just a fighter jet anymore. With a single command, it becomes a mothership, directing not one, but several sleek, tailless drones rising from hidden launch pads across the Pacific. No cockpits, no pilots. Just machines engineered to go where no human could survive. Deep into the most defended skies on Earth. These are Lockheed Martin's Vectis drones, the crowbars of modern air combat, built to pry open enemy defenses so the mothership doesn't have to. And here's the twist, this is not science fiction, this is 2025. <laughs> For a century, air combat meant pilots, speed, instincts, and duels in the sky. But the battlefield is evolving. Rival nations have built A2 AD zones, anti-access area denial networks. Picture layers of long-range radars, advanced missile batteries, and electronic warfare nets designed to push U.S. jets out of contested airspace. Lockheed Martin's answer is the Vectis, part of a new class called CCA, Collaborative Combat Aircraft. In plain English, robotic wingmen. A Vectis can fly beside an F-35, carrying weapons or electronic jammers. It can scout using ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance sensors. Essentially, high-tech eyes and ears that map enemy radars and missile launchers. And if the enemy cuts communications, Vectis can keep going, executing the mission on its own. Its name says it all, Vectis, Latin for lever. Its purpose? To pry open defenses so pilots don't have to. Here's the revolutionary shift. One F-35 is no longer just one plane. With Vectis, it becomes a commander of a squadron in miniature. Imagine 12 F-35s, each with four Vectis drones. Suddenly, that's nearly 58 stealth platforms in the sky, coordinated as one. So, how does Vectis survive where others can't? Unlike bulky drones of the past, Vectis is shaped for extreme stealth. It has no tail fins. Instead, a lambda-shaped wing that bends radar signals away. Its engine intake is mounted on top, hiding the turbine's heat from ground-based radars. Its angled chine lines break up radar reflections. In practice, this means radar sees less aircraft and more background noise. To an enemy sensor, Vectis looks less like a target and more like a ghost. These are the same stealth tricks that make the F-35 and B-2 bomber survivable. Only now, applied to a drone light enough to go where even a stealth fighter might hesitate. But stealth is only step one. Surviving doesn't matter, unless you can also fight and adapt. Here's where the engineering gets clever. Vectis isn't locked into a single role. It's built with an open architecture. Think of it like a smartphone with modular apps. On one mission, it carries electronic warfare pods to silence enemy radars. On another, it swaps in ISR payloads, advanced cameras, sensors, and data processors to map the battlefield. And when the fight heats up, it can open its internal bay to fire AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles. Long-range weapons that can neutralize hostile aircraft before they ever get close. But here's the real power. Not one drone doing one job, but a swarm of drones dividing roles. One as a decoy, one as a jammer, one as a hunter. This isn't brute force, it's precision teamwork at machine speed. And that's exactly what we'll dive into next. How Vectis is designed to break open the most advanced defenses on Earth. Now let's tackle the real wall Vectis was built to break. A2 AD Zones. An anti-access slash area denial system is like a layered fortress in the sky. Imagine this, outer rings of radars scanning hundreds of miles, inner layers packed with long-range missiles, like Russia's S-400 or China's HQ-9, and behind them jammers and decoys disrupting signals. The goal is simple. Deny access keep U.S. aircraft out, or force them to pay a high price for entry. To penetrate this fortress, you need three things. One, stealth, to slip in undetected. Two, sensors, to find the weak spots. Three, weapons and jammers, to disable those defenses. Vectis is engineered around exactly those pillars. 
While the F-35 provides long-range vision and coordination, Vectis plays the spear tip. It scouts, tags radars, and relays precise locations back to the mothership. Then, multiple Vectis units can coordinate. One jams, another launches an anti-radar missile, and a third drops a loitering munition that waits overhead until the moment is right. Instead of a single jet risking everything, a distributed swarm of Vectis drones dismantles the fortress piece by piece, neutralizing radars and missile launchers without exposing pilots to catastrophic risk. But there's another challenge, electronic warfare. Adversaries won't just sit and watch. They'll jam communications, scramble data links, and try to blind the mothership. Here's where Vectis's AI-powered autonomy comes in. Unlike traditional drones that need constant control, Vectis can think for itself. If the connection cuts, it doesn't stop. It can classify threats, radar, aircraft, or launcher, prioritize targets, deciding which one poses the biggest risk, adapt flight plans, rerouting on the fly. Imagine. Three Vectis drones detecting a radar coming online. Within milliseconds, one switches to jamming, another lines up a precision missile shot, and the third repositions to flank incoming reinforcements. No waiting for instructions, no lag, just machine speed teamwork. And that's crucial, because rivals are building their own mothership wingman combos. The real question is, whose system adapts fastest under pressure? Russia and China aren't standing still. Moscow has paired its Su-57 stealth fighter with a massive S-70 Okhotnik drone. In that team, the Su-57 plays commander, while the Okhotnik acts as a heavy wingman, carrying weapons and sensors into risky zones. It's brute force, built for firepower and range. China is experimenting with J-20 stealth fighters directing drone swarms. Their philosophy leans toward a tritability, producing large numbers of expendable drones designed to overwhelm defenses with sheer volume, even if many are lost. Vectis represents a different approach. Instead of sheer numbers or brute size, it balances survivability, autonomy, and modularity. It's designed to be reusable, not a disposable drone, but a stealthy, intelligent platform that can survive, adapt, and return for the next mission. In short, while Russia bets on muscle and China bets on mass, the US is betting on a scalpel with a brain. Here's a principle shaping the future. Attritability versus survivability. China leans toward attritability, building swarms of cheaper drones meant to be lost in large numbers. The logic? Overwhelm defenses by sheer volume. The US, with Fectus, leans toward survivability. Each drone is engineered with stealth, autonomy, and reusability in mind. Instead of throwing waves of expendables, the goal is to field fewer, smarter platforms that can come back alive, preserving combat power over time. It's a difference in philosophy. Throw bodies at the wall, or send in precision tools that pry the wall open. Vectis was unveiled in 2025 and is now moving through testing. Analysts expect it could see operational readiness by the early 2030s, just as pure rivals field their own systems. Russia's Su-57 Okotnik pairing is already flying in prototype form, but production remains limited. China's J-20 with drone swarms has been demonstrated in exercises, but it's still experimental. The race is on, but timelines suggest Vectis could mature faster into a combat-ready, reusable mothership wingman system. The future of air combat won't be about lone dogfights. It will be about networks, who sees first, who adapts fastest, and who brings the smartest mix of man and machine. One pilot, many warriors, a new geometry of air power. Now here's the question I'll leave with you. Do you think the future belongs to swarms of disposable drones or to reusable, survivable platforms like Vectis? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every one. And if you found this breakdown valuable, Hit subscribe, smash that like, and share this video with a friend who loves engineering marvels. Most importantly, thank you for giving me your time. Your attention is the most valuable thing you can offer, and I don't take it for granted. This is Mega Projects Uncovered, and we'll keep exploring the machines shaping the battles of tomorrow.